Brenda and welcome to Tangle Break. Today we're going to tangle a pumpkin. I have been tangling some pumpkins for decorations for the fall and thought that this would be something that would be fun to share with you also. So this is a nine inch pumpkin that I've done with and using the different ribs for the tang the um, strings and then I did all the different tangles. Okay, so we're going to do one today on a smaller version, a smaller pumpkin, a six and a half inch pumpkin. And I can show you the format of exactly how I did the big one and then you can do any size you want. And I'll give you the list of the tangles that I did so that um, when I was going over it, the ones that I thought would blend in together very nicely. And so um, I have lots to share with you. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just using a craft pumpkin, a carvable craft pumpkin um, that you can just get at a local craft store. A Sharpie marker. This is the fine point, not the ultra fine, the fine. I found, I practiced with different pens and I found that the fine marker, Sharpie marker, um, gave me a bold enough line that I could see what I was doing and it dries very quickly so that I didn't have to worry about smudging because I'm going to be holding it a whole lot to get the different um, strings going. So what we're going to do, we're just going to start off. The way I did it is that the strings are actually the ribs. Okay? We're going to have on this pumpkin 16 tangles and I'm going to break it down into three sessions, uh, about 30 minutes each and um, just to make it a, a little bit easier to take breaks and all. So today we're gonna do the stringing of um, the ribs and then we're gonna do four tangles and then um, we'll break until next time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm finding the largest rib. Oh, let's bring it down. And that one I want to stay big. All the other ribs I'll just follow and um, if it has a little bit of an indentation I'm gonna split it and I'll show you. So I'm just taking the marker and I'm just going over the rib. I'm just chase, tracing the rib and that's gonna be my strings for the different tangles. This one here just happened to be where the um, the tag was and so it's easy for me to mark it and know where I'm at. So when you get your pumpkin I suggest you go in and look in at all the different ribs and the biggest rib that doesn't have an indent like this one has an indent right here I'm I'm gonna split that one but this one doesn't have any indents and I'm gonna leave it big. So then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna go down the rib Just trying to make it, so it's my string. This one, can you see? It has a rib started and then it doesn't have one here, but I'm still gonna go over that one. All the way to the bottom. This rib is easy to do because it's got the little edge of the pumpkin. And don't worry about if it's not perfectly straight, the, the tangles take care of it. Just find in every rib. just sort of follow the groove that it's got. This one's got the indent here. It didn't go all the way here, but I'm gonna follow it. So I'm gonna go where my indent starts, and then I'm gonna eyeball to keep it in the center. And 
Okay. Keep on going. Once you get these strings done, the tangles are so enjoyable. I picked my 16 of my favorites. So the re relaxation will begin when we start tangling. That's where the ridge is for the pumpkin to be put together, so that was an easy rib to do. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this, let's pull it down here. So I want 16. So this last one right here, because this is where I started with the little hole of where the tag was. So I'm going to split this one right here, right down the middle, because I want 16 strings. Let's now we'll double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Got it. All right, we're ready. Our strings are done. I'm going to start with my biggest one. Remember, I left that on purpose to be my biggest one. And that's going to be Struggles, which we did uh, not long ago. So let's go ahead. For Struggles, you do the lines first. So we're going to be making lines, but it'll be one tangle. And we're going to make one, two, three, three lines in here, in this one little space. So I'm going to start up here, because I know I want three lines. And if you remember, a couple, like I think it was two videos ago, we did struggles, and it's a fun pattern. Okay, so I did one line, I want two more lines. So I'm gonna come over about the same distance. And come all the way to the bottom. We'll do one more line. So even though that was a big part, I know where my my string is, my tangle. It's right here, these four lines right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do strickles here. Okay, so just these four lines here. So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna go around across both. Then I'm gonna take these next two lines and go around those. I'm gonna come back over here to these two lines and go around like that. I'm gonna come back over here to these two lines and go like that. I'm gonna go around to these two lines. Go like that. And one more thing of two lines. Okay. Okay, I know that this is a space here, space here, space here, space here. Wherever I see little spaces, I'm just putting my little circles down. Okay. And then on the outer lines, like right here, I'm going to put one. Right here, put one right here, and this sort of frames it in 
So now I know exactly where Struggles is going to be. I think I'm going to do a fun one right there. Do another one right there. And then I'm going to do the halves up in here. Okay, bringing it down the side. Okay, so that's my struggles. Okay, struggles is done. Now it's just the coloring. The shade, the coloring in, because we're not shading, we're using the marker. So I'm going to have my first stripe be white. So then my, the stripe is white, then my circles, orbs, are black. Okay, so in the first thing, I'm just going to quickly go down. I did say circles, but um, we do orbs so that you don't feel the stress of having a perfect circle. And I'm just filling in all the way down because the first one is white. And this is just that done. Done. Okay. So now my second stripe is going to be black. So I just start up here and we'll fill it in with black. So if the stripe is black, the circles are white. And when we did the tile, we marked it. So I mean, you can mark it if you need to. I'm going to go just this way at this time. I think we've got it down pretty well. So I don't think I'm going to mark it ahead of time. Not planning to. So we'll just keep on this path. This is a little bit different because the tile we did was curved stripes. This is just straight up and down stripes. Now I've got several black markers, Sharpie markers on standby because I have been tangling several pumpkins, just enjoying it, having it for decorations. And you will notice that um, the decorations, the tangles that we have, it's not specific to Halloween or Thanksgiving. So I plan on using these pumpkins for all um, fall. All right, for the bottom, what I did was just draw a line across because I know that when I put it down, you're not gonna see past that. Okay, this line is, I mean, the next stripe is white. So my orbs are black. And I'm doing, a, um, like I said, we're doing 16 tangles. But I mean, if you wanted to do the whole pumpkin and struggles, I mean, that'd be pretty. That'd be pretty. Okay, orbs are black. I've been decorating a lot yet, yeah, this marker. I've been decorating a lot of pumpkins, so. That marker was dying out. I'm still on the white stripe, so it's black orbs. black stripe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so then the last one is the black stripe. Start at the top and work my way down. I still get very relaxed doing all these different tangles. So I hope that you find it relaxing too. And I've done several pumpkins and so the order that I'm doing these tangles are, is um, what I thought showcases the different tangles beside each other. You'll see what I mean once we start getting into some more tangles. Okay, I'm going to draw a line similar to the other one because I know that you're not going to see past that when it's sitting up, so it's a good place to stop. Alright, so Strickles is done. Okay, The next one is Mysteria, and it looks like um, just noodles in a way or worms or however you want to look at it. But what you're going to do is you're going to take a line and sort of wiggle it. Okay. Then I'm going to aura that line. Done. And we're going to use the holly bog um, concept and do it on underneath and on top and all that. So you'll see. So now I'm going to just do a line underneath. When I get to another, I always go underneath. Okay, I'm not going to draw over top of another line. Then I'm going to aura it. Okay. And that's the section, that's Mysteria. So up here, a line and aura it. I'm going to go here and just do some wiggles and aura it. I'm going to do a longer one now. I'm going to come around here and just wiggle to the other side. I'm going to come over on this side and wiggle by arrowing it to the other side. Okay. I'm going to come here, just pick what you want, and you just sort of draw a line. So now I'm going to arrow it. So I'm going to come around here. Getting the idea? I want to go across here. So let's go here. Just do a one single line so you can see where you're going. And then you just are it. That's it. I want to go ahead and make one go in through here. Just because I like to layer. So I see just one line. And then I'm going to go back and are it. And then it looks like it's underneath the other two, or three or four. Okay. All right. So now I'm gonna move down here. I'm gonna start over here. See where it's at. Go to here. Or see where it's at. Go to here. 
I'm gonna cut through. So then, I'm gonna aura that one. Now just pick your picture where it is underneath the other ones. All right, let's do another really big wiggle. So then I'm gonna come back and aura it. I'm gonna come over here and wiggle. And I'm gonna come around here and wiggle it. And then let's see this picture where it would go under. And go up. Picture where it would go under and then go up. Alright, let's do some wiggling here. Since that went up, I'm gonna picture something is laying on something, so I'll go up. Alright, and then since this is where my line is right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just so then I can just see that there's one. Mysteria done. Okay, we've got two done. Struggles, Mysteria. Now we're going to do a Shatuck. Okay, um, this is always fun for me. Like I said, I picked 16 of my favorite tangles. So, right here, we're going to aura the line. Just come in pretty close to it. stop right about you know where my ending is now I did our that line I'm gonna or this side too and move your pumpkin however you need to do so that you can I'm gonna turn it this way so I can get my line going I'm just aring, okay? That one line. And when it's fairly thin, because it's just a border for Shatuck. Okay, I'm gonna stop right in here, because I know that's my base. Okay, now for Shatuck, we're gonna do, it's almost like a um, crisscross, crisscross going back and forth. So I'm gonna start up at the top, and I'm going to go across like that. I'm going to bring it down. It's almost like miniature triangles. Then I'm going to bring it this way. And it's almost like the same angle as the other one. So then this angle of this one. And so then this angle. So then think of that angle. And so then this angle. Then I'm going to this angle. And I'm going to go back this angle. It's almost going to make just triangles over and over. This angle. This angle. This angle. This angle. See, I'm, what I'm trying to do is replicate that line above it. So I'm going to replicate that angle here. You'll see when I do the little boards in it. I call them boards. Um, that's technically the right word for it, but let's see. Come across here. 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 And I know that I'm not finished. Okay. We'll get to the very top. And I'm just going to put in two more little baby triangles. Okay. Alright. So now we put the 
with the little boards in. So I'm going to put one here because it's not a whole lot of room. I'm going to put two here. I'm going to put probably three here. You know, I'm going to start starting to do this. About the same length apart. Same width apart. And it's going to be more and more boards for each triangle because the triangles keep getting bigger. And I'm doing one side because it makes it easy for me. No stress, remember? They're decorating and enjoying it, relaxing and enjoying it. I love these things. So then when you have your pumpkin, you can look back and think, you can name off all the tangles. And you use it as a reference. Just draw in the boards. If you wanted to, um, we can do it at the end, is we can write down the names with each one. That's something that you, and you can use it as a reference, like I said. Okay. All right, now we're gonna go back the other way, okay? So we did coming toward us, we're going to do across this way this time. So up at the top, I don't have very much, I don't have a lot of room, so I'm just doing them, not as many of them. Because they grow as we get bigger triangles. And this makes a pretty cool weaving pattern. Just trying to stay about the same distance for all the different boards but in each one you know, whatever the space takes up is what I'm putting in there I'm not counting boards I'm just looking at the space and filling it up and then to go to the bottom I know I'm just gonna run out okay now what I like to do to make the shatuck stand out is um, just bold in or color in the second line the second space so let me just show you right here like right here the second one right here the second one going across up here you don't have as many so we'll just pick and choose we might just leave some of these you know, just, just to have a little bit of white going through here. Give it the idea because it's not, they don't have a whole lot of bands or boards up at the top. Okay, now the rest of it will be easy. Just go to the second band and fill it in. And then watch the overall effect is, is very cool. And all you're doing is coloring in the second band. see so I'm trying we're just going back and forth the second band I just like that effect because I mean this is cool the weaving but when you have that band it pops it out and when you're looking at all these different tangles it just makes it fun to see immediately a pattern Second band, that's all I'm doing. Okay, so 
that's done. Side. Over here, I'm gonna come in this. And then like this, like this. Okay. Go straight up. Let's do different, different variations of it. side here, there's no um, no right or wrong, we're just trying to fill in the space. Okay, I'm going to come over from this outside here. You'll see the higher you get up, it's less and less space to use. So. Just bring it around like that. And I think I'm just gonna stop right there with that one. So this is poke root. And the way we finish this one off is, you see all these spaces here on these, um, sort of like reminds me of cherries. You just fill it in. So, and it makes them pop. So I'm gonna, wherever it looks like just air space, you just fill it in. Oh, and then one more thing I like to do, where the upside down sm smile was, I just pull it in, and it just makes it look more three three D, look more like a little cap. So you just pull it in, and so as I color in, I fix that on the little tops. I'll pull it in. And let's make it a little bit broader. Cause it makes it, for me, I think it look, makes it look like the stem is more prominent. I just like the look. And this, it's almost like I just connect it to the stem. 
Let's make it a little bit broader. So it looks like it's going up in there. That's it. That's all you have to do. So I just round it off. Round it off. Fill in my white space. My poke root just pops out. on this and it's not smearing it. So I was practicing with different pins to see what would work out the best. And would give it the best coverage. Okay. Just a few more to do. Pull these in. Fill in the white space white space, pull this in, fill in the white space, okay, and then this is the bottom one, you can make a line if you want to, that way I just know that it's not going to be a space showing. All right, we've got our start. We've done our string. We've got four tangles going. Uh, strickles, strickles, mysteria, shatuck, and poke root. So um, tune in next time, and we'll be doing another section. So I um, hope you have a great day, and bye for now.